Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Morientes card to review. It's pretty cheap on the market because people don't think the card looks that crazy. Uh, but Morientes was a card that a few people actually used in the beginning of the year and they were personally able to use it, right? For me, it was a little bit of a strange one, right? Even if I gave him an engine chemistry style, it just felt a little bit weird, right? But with the massive improvements that this card has received for a card that's 88k that gives you those Spanish links, the Liga Santander links, pretty nice, right? So this card, guys, we will be giving an engine chemistry style to, right? We're going to be working with someone who is... Do -do 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 -do. Six foot one, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, but has a five star weak foot. So very, very nice. Uh, in game player traits, he has the power header traits, and he also has the chip shot trait too, which I feel like, and we've seen from some of the reviews, the animation choice is actually kind of nice when they have that trait. Uh, in game attributes, the card is probably going to feel like a physical type striker because of the fact that he is a six foot one player with a high and average body type. So you're probably going to have to work with that. Most of the strikes that you're probably going to be getting is going to be inside the 18-yard box stuff because for those main shooting stats, he is in the mid-90s area. Long shots is at a 90, but if you hit some finesse shots, depending on the player and the animation choices that he makes, it could be perfectly fine, right? The passing on the card is going to be in a very good area too. So if you actually decide to use him in the position that they actually changed him from or changed him to, because he was not a cam before, he was a striker, but you can obviously switch if you want. Um, you could totally do that, right? The card has 92 stamina, which obviously very helpful in this game because pressure tactics is kind of like a big thing that your defensive AI kind of just does randomly sometimes, right? So um, the dribbling we will be experimenting with because he is a player who is six foot one with a high and average body type. So that type of stuff we do have to test out in game as well. He's got 99 for heading accuracy, 97 jumping. So he could potentially win some corners, crosses in the air, which is solid. And then for physical capabilities, he does have strength, but aggressions on the lower side. So um, with this card, guys, in game, we're going to be trying him out in the striker position because we're also reviewing the Valverde card. We'll be using him in that left striker area on stay forward, right? So even though he's doesn't he doesn't have low stamina, we're going to keep him on the stay forward anyway. So um, yeah, we'll see how the card performs. Hopefully he is a beast. Let's go, Morientes. Okay. Started off nicely with the pass. Because he has the five-star weak foot, once we're inside the 18-yard box, he's able to score that opportunity. Nice. Yeah, so no timing on that. It's got to put more power for his shots. Are you offside? Yeah, he is. Slightly, slightly offside, but a very good strike to the near post. Oh, I tried to do like a first time pass there. It was decent, to be fair. It wasn't like terrible at all. Yeah, finesse shots aren't like crazy special off of him so far, but these are coming off of certain touches, so always had to take that into consideration. Okay. No, get back here. Oh, no way. Too much power on that, really? I saw the sway on that cross. I was like, attacker advantage for sure. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do those small little touches. When they're not controlling the defensive player, that first touch from like a driven from one pass, like that opens up the space a lot for you. Oh, we're good. <laughs> that works. Welcome to FIFA, hey guys.
Yeah, almost. Nothing. There's nothing like special about his finesse shots, though. Like you, you could see that even if I get the right power and stuff, there's nothing like crazy special. Like you can hit them, but you just gotta get the right power and stuff. Pretty sure you're offside. Yeah, you should definitely maintain an onside position there. Unfortunately, but it's all good. It's all good. Oh, this close though. Maybe I should have done a lot pass there. It was actually a solid run. Oh. Oh yeah, too much, too much. So much jam there. Nice. Couple of dribbles here and there. Open up the space for his five-star weak foot. Good finish. Wow, that actually almost worked out. Yeah, that's like one of the angles for the uh, corners. Like, if you can get it close, you're good. They actually hit him nice. Almost. Past the one guy, but then the other guy was on top of me. Ooh, Morientes with a defensive play. Oh man, kind of hoping that me doing the roulette there would just pass the AI, but... Oh man, I try to get that near post. Oh dude, how am I aiming this? Ah, uh, manual headers, eh? Okay, sure. Pretty sure this game has delay because I'm aiming it in directions and it's not going in those directions. So, yeah. We move though. We'll take the goal. Oh, I imagine that. I actually try to do a roulette, but we'll use that too. We'll use that too. Cool beans, cool beans. Good finish. I'm lucky that his um, his AI didn't do a block there, because if he did that, I would have that would never have happened. <laughs> his number four is just not doing any AI blocks. Is that Alaba? It could be. Yeah, number four. I think he actually switched his number too. <laughs> I wanted to try it from a really dumb angle. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's a good thing you got into position for that. I was like, please, I need to score header for you. Could <laughs> you see the animation? He's like, oh, I must get it. Sorry, you know I gotta go for something audacious. I, hold, I held L trigger to see if he would go for like a tricey or something, you know? Okay, we score that finesse shot, nice. Avara gold, avara gold, my friend. Yeah, I, I always try to see if they do that transition, you know, from the attack. Good pass. It's a good one by Rodrigo, too. That bounce pass actually worked out wonders. Good. Oh, it doesn't score near post. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Morientes card. So uh, I'm not sure how many people are going to be interested in this. I feel like a few, maybe, because of the fact that he gives you those green links, those Liga Santander players. 
uh, and Spanish players. But with this card, guys, we have to give him the obvious chemistry style, which is the engine one, uh, because you do need to improve his dribbling as much as possible. Now, technically, what you could actually do with this card, because of his pace not being crazy relevant for how he performs in game, technically you can give him a finisher chemistry style to give him a plus 10 for agility, uh, plus four for balance, and then plus eight for dribbling uh, to use him you know, potentially in that cam position, right? You increase his shooting quite a bit. You don't increase the long shots though, which in my opinion, like you could definitely hit them with this card from mostly the finesse shots, not necessarily the power strikes. Power strikes are always gonna be random for the most part, right? Uh, they're not like a super effective way of scoring, but on the engine chemistry style, the card is pretty decent to use. Now, I do feel like that for the meta of FIFA nowadays, it's not gonna be the craziest card to have because there are some things that you're gonna to have to work with. That's why he is 87K, he's a super cheap player. Um, I think a card like this is gonna be a card that maybe people in the lower divisions will definitely appreciate because he's at a pretty decent price for them building a team at the point in time of, you know, FIFA being, I think FIFA is still free, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like people that are building their squads, a card like this that gives you those green links uh, is going to be very cool to work with. In the top divisions, you can definitely make him work because of the fact that he does have the five-star weak foot. You just have to get that one opportunity uh, to score because of the mid-90s area for these shooting stats. But yeah, nothing crazy special about the card. You know, I wasn't really crazy about Murientes at the time. I think with a card like this, um, for the stats that it has and for what it offers, it would have had to have been released, I would say, like, because, well, we're in July now, so maybe four or five months ago, to be honest with you guys, for him to be uh, a little bit more than decent, right? But yeah, for the game nowadays, there's obviously going to be better attackers, but if you do end up packing the card and you want to use them in your squads, be sure to do so. But yeah, nothing crazy special about him, but gives you those links just in case you're building that type of team. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.